Welcome to SickCast, brought to you by Sick Research Institute, illuminating every path. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. My name is Eni Kaur, and I am the editor of the Guru Granth Sahib Project. We are excited to announce the release of Ponya 11 to 20 of Anand Sahib, which is revealed by Guru Amar Das Sahib and it is in Rag Ramkali. Now the Rag Ramkali conveys two emotions, sweetness and sense of awakening. And there's a play on the words in Ramkali. Ram signifying the beautiful, charming one, and the B and the C and the O are all capitalized. So it's the beautiful, charming one. And Kali, indicating a budding. So if we look at it in that light, so it is when the blossoming of the beautiful, charming one occurs within a seeker, devotion takes root. And devotion, that devotion, becomes the seeker's adornment. It beautifies the seeker. So now that we know a little bit about the rag, Let's move on to what we have done with the word Anand. The team has translated Anand as bliss, joy, or delight. Yet unlike our transient happiness and joys, the Anand that the Guru imparts stands apart. It transcends the realms of our five physical senses because it's an experience. It goes beyond the confines of intellect or emotion. So in these 40 porties, if we can think of them as steps on a ladder, we get to understand and maybe get a glimpse of the essence of the joy of the Anand and the way to attain it. In the 14th pori of Anand Sahib, on this ladder, Guru Amar Das Sahib says, Bhagdan ki chal nirali Chala nirali bhakta keri, become marag chalna. The stride of the devotees is distinct. Their treading is on a difficult path. We wonder, who are these bhagats? Who are these devotees that embody such devotion? The answer, those who have felt and received the grace. We ask, why is the walk of the devotees, the bhagats, distinctive, separate, and noticeable? And this is what I understand what Guru reveals. The bhagats walk is distinct, yes, because their way of navigating the world differs from the prevailing cultures. It's different from popular norms and elite conventions. No matter how the world functions and operates, the devotees ignore that. Their journey is unique. It's sharper than a double-edged sword and finer than a strand of hair. Their journey, their path is challenging and that is what sets them apart. You know, feeling the grace, receiving the grace is real. It's tangible. These puppets, these devoted beings embody that possibility. So what does it do for us? It gives us hope. These Bhagats are not concerned about public opinion, photo opportunities, press releases, or limelight. It is through the grace of the Wisdom Guru their self annihilation occurs and their lowercase self, the small s within us, within them, vanishes. That's how their identity, their I, dissolves. And what happens when that happens? They are enamored by the one, yearning to touch that one, the one. And they are exuding that fragrance of the one. This is the fragrance of Hari, the all-pervasive, the one light that dispels the fear, that alleviates suffering, and that fragrance is enduring, is lasting. Unlike our 
conventional fragrances, which are fleeting. You know, no fancy uh, sprays or specific behaviors or deeds can permeate us with that lasting fragrance that the Bhagats have. Why is that? Because as long as there is ego and pride within us, that fragrance is elusive. This lasting fragrance permeates when permanence enters, that is when the eternal, when the one takes root within us, that is when we will exude that fragrance. There are word meanings for each word in this Bani, in this composition. The word I want to focus on is a word that appears eight times in 4017, Pavitra. So Pavitra means pure, and we all want to be pure because purity is a universal aspiration. The attraction of this label, this pure label, is understandable because it promises distinct happiness and joy. However, the global perspective on purity is mainly external. But for the Bhagat, but for the devoted being who experiences the Hari, who experiences the One Light, perceives purity as an internal bliss. While the external world defines purity Primarily based on physicality, the Guru reveals it is an internal cleansing process. Now, the individuals who embrace the teachings of the Wisdom Guru embody a wisdom-oriented mindset. In other words, a Guru-oriented mindset. Their constant remembrance of the all-pervasive, of the Hari, of Vikyunkar, sets them apart. This signifies true purity, an elevation of the mind over the body, the state. So purity in Anansab is when the mind gets elevated and becomes what we call pure, where the mind is cleansed. This transcendence beyond external definitions of purity redefines the very paradigm of what it means to be pure, what it means to be truly pure. So when you engage with Pori 17 and you come across this word, do pause and reflect on what it means to be pure for yourself, for ourselves. Do we dare ask the question of ourselves whether we yearn for this internal purity do we yearn an eternal purity, a purity that live, uplifts not only us, but everyone around us? So these are a few of my thoughts on some of the lines of an Sahib thus far that we have released. For the poets out there, I extend you an invitation to explore the poetical dimensions on this Barney and throughout the website. And brace yourselves to be awed by the masterful literary brushstokes which are adorning this Bani and every Bani. I guarantee you, you're going to be surprised and pleasantly. To the seekers, I encourage you to read both the literal translation and the interpretive transcreation. To the scholars, I invite you to delve into the word meanings and explore the footnotes. And don't forget to look into the introduction section of this particular Bani. And if you're just beginning to explore and you've just begun your journey, I recommend that you read the commentaries. And what can I say to the lovers out there? Simply sing the Bani and love the Shabbat. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Read the translations and commentaries at gurugransab.io. You are listening to Sikh Cast by Sikh Research Institute, illuminating every path.